Hi, this is Sally from eLearning, and today I'm going to demonstrate how to create a student annotation assignment. So first you just want to create a new assignment, um, give it a name and some instructions, and scroll down to the submission type in the assignment settings. Make sure to select online as the submission type, and then under online entry options, just check student annotation. And this is going to open up the option for you to either upload the file from your computer or from your course. So upload the file that you would like your students to annotate. And go ahead and click Save and Publish. So now the assignment is ready to go. Um, when students open this assignment, they're going to have access to the document that you uploaded and they're going to be able to mark it up. And I'm just going to go ahead and give you a demonstration of how that looks from the student side. So we'll go ahead and go into student view. And so they will just click Start Assignment to get access to that document. And as you can see, I um, included that in the instructions, just in case they missed that big blue button. So here you go. You can see they have the document right in front of them. It's kind of small, so that, you know they can make a full screen. They can zoom in to make it larger. Um, and then they have some different options here at the top. So as you can see, there's some instructions here. So I'm going to start with the highlight annotation. I'm going to highlight this text here. And it's asking where do you live. So I think I'll use this little point annotation to drop a point where I live here. and you can leave a comment associated with that point. So I live here. So that's one thing they can do. You can also, the next question is the label the cascade range. So I'll go ahead and highlight that. Um, what I'm going to use to label the cascade range is the free draw annotation. So you just go ahead and click that. Um, they can choose a color. Brown is good. Can choose a line thickness. Uh, not very good at drawing on a mouse pad, but you get the picture. <laughs> there, this is the general location of the cascades. So there's that. Now go ahead and highlight again see insert a Washington factoid so there's a couple ways you could um, insert I'm gonna go ahead and use this free text annotation so you just click anywhere and it opens up a text box so let's see. And I'm, I can type in my factoid And let's see, what well, what have we used so far? We've used the pin annotation, the highlight annotation, the text free text annotation, and the free draw annotation. So here we have an area annotation. So let, let's let me show you how that works. So then you can actually highlight a whole area and the student gets an option to write in here. And um, one last option is the strike through. So that works pretty much how you would expect. So when the student is done annotating the document, they just go ahead and click Submit Assignment. Hooray, and now I'm going to leave student view so you can see what this looks like again from your perspective once the student has turned in the assignment.
So you can go ahead and open up the assignment in SpeedGrader. And there it is. You can see all the annotations that the student has added, and you can go ahead and assign a grade like you would with any other assignment. And that's how you use a student uh, annotation assignment.